Artificial intelligent influencers are replacing human influencers and are making bank with Instagram posts. This AI model, Aitana Lopez, is going viral and earns $11,000 per month. She has hit headlines in major business news articles, such as Business Insider, and is also making over $1,000 per advert on FanView, which is a subscription platform similar to OnlyFans. And the best part is that in this video, I am going to show you exactly how to create your very own hyper-realistic virtual influencer or AI model with a consistent face, similar to this, in a much less complicated way compared to other tutorials online in just 10 minutes for free. So make sure to watch until the end for this easy, time-saving method. That'll give you the same results based on the amount of effort you put in and start growing a following and getting paid while virtual influencers are still thriving. To make a long story short, I found a tool called Fucus. It uses Stable Diffusion's Juggernaut model, so you can think of it as a combination of Midjourney and Stable Diffusion in one. Fucus is great because it allows you to use it on Google Colab Notebook, which means if you don't have a powerful GPU on your PC to install Fucus locally, you can run it directly from the cloud using virtual machines for free. With that said, I will be accessing Fucus via Google Colab Notebook and use Chrome as my browser. Simply search for Fucus Colab and click on the first search result or click on the link in my description. You will end up on the Fucus Colab user interface. To the right, click on Connect. This will connect you to the GPU and it will take about two minutes to connect. Once connected, scroll down the code until you see running on public URL and click on the Gradio link. A new tab will open up and this is where you will see the Gradio Live web page or user interface. Ultimately, this is your image generation tool. This session will run for about 72 hours provided you don't close the Colab notebook. This is the prompt box where we have to enter the prompt for the image or AI model we plan to generate. At the bottom, you will find two checkboxes, which are input image and advance. Let's click on the advanced checkbox. You will notice some advanced settings on the right side with four tabs labeled setting, style, model, and advanced. Under preset, I will select realistic, under performance, you'll see speed, quality, extreme speed, and lighting. I will select quality. Under aspect ratio, you can choose the size of your image. I will select one by one. Below that, you'll find the image number, which is the number of images that you want to generate at a time. The output format is the file type that will be saved after you've generated and downloaded your AI model. Next, we have the negative prompt box, which is where you can enter what you don't want in your image. For example, unrealistic, big nose, cartoon, anime, and so on. By deselecting the random box, this allows for access to the seed configuration. This determines the randomness in the image generation process. If you enable randomness, you will generate new images each time, but by turning it off, you will generate the same image with the same prompt with slight variations in each of the results. Moving on to the style tab, here you can select which style you want your model in. You'll have hundreds of pre-built styles to choose from. By simply hovering your cursor over the style, you will see an example of what your image would look like. You can play around with these styles, but for this example, because we want to create a realistic model, I will select Focus Photography and leave the rest of the settings as default. Moving on to the Model tab, you'll have the ability to configure your base model, LoRa, and refine settings. Since we are using Google Colab, we don't need to reconfigure any of these settings. When selecting the Advanced tab, here you can adjust the Guidance Scale and Image Sharpness. Now that we have configured our settings, we can generate our AI model. In the prompt box, I will type, a beautiful 23-year-old girl, long curly blonde hair, green eyes, hyper-detailed photography, portrait, realistic. I'll change the image number to four, so we can have four variations of our model to choose from. Then click Generate. These images look really photorealistic and most importantly, maintains the same face in each image. I like this one so I will download it. Now, if you want to generate an image of your AI model doing a specific action or pose, you can also accomplish this using Focus. This is an example of a pose that I would like to model. Let me show you how to do it. First click on Input Image, click on Image Prompt. Upload your initial AI model image that you have downloaded. Next you will upload your model image. Click on Advance. Select Face Swap. Select Pyrocani and hit Generate. As you can see, the pose has changed to that of the second image, but the face has remained the same as the first image. You can play around with the prompt to generate different environments, backgrounds, and so on. Here are the results.
As you can see, while the background has changed quite a bit, the face remains the same. I was going to cut this out of the video, but I want to be as real and honest with you guys as possible, so I decided to leave it in and show you that AI is not always perfect. I did, however, edit the prompt and disable the randomness so you can see what the results would look like. Always remember, if you don't like the result or if it's not up to your standard, you can simply regenerate it until you're satisfied. These are the final results, and even though they aren't perfect, I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to download this one. Now, if you need to add an element to the image, such as a tattoo, earrings, a hat, or anything like that, you can do this by following these steps. Click on the In Paint or Out Paint tab. Drag and drop your image here. Draw on the area where you want to add an element. You can then clear the text box and add the description of what you want to add in the image. I'll try adding a tattoo, and then click Generate. The tattoo didn't appear on two of the models, but they did on these two. Personally, it doesn't really look very realistic to me at this stage, but you get the point and you now know that you can configure these settings until you get the desired look and feel for your AI model. You can go ahead and generate as many unique images of your AI model and post them on your Instagram account. I suggest that you start with three posts and one reel to kickstart the account, but not so much that Instagram flags your account as spam because you're posting too many times at once. Now for the exciting part. But first, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications notifications for more videos like this. Okay, so as you know, Instagram Reels are going viral, which means that I have to show you exactly how to do a face swap for Reels using the AI model we have just created. The tool I'll be demonstrating in this video is very easy to use. It's free and not at all as complicated as the techniques used in other videos. Before you can do the face swap though, you will first need to find an Instagram Reel of an influencer or someone who has similar facial features and body type as your AI model. Download the Reel using an Instagram downloader because we will need this for the following steps. I'm about to share with you. Open up Acool AI. Again, all links will be in the description. To use Acool, you'll need to create an account. It's free, so I just used my Google account. Upon sign up, you'll get 100 free credits, which you will see in the right hand corner. To the left under platform, you'll see a list of all the capabilities that Acool AI has to offer. We will select face swap. Here you can drag and drop your target video and source image. In other words, you'll upload the reel and the image that you're going to face swap. I'll click on choose file and upload the reel first. This will analyze the reel to detect the face. You'll then be directed to this page. Next you will upload the image of the face in question. Click on the plus icon and select the source image. Again, this will analyze your source image to detect the face. Once detected, your source image will appear to the right as an option to add to the reel. Click on your source image and it will pop into the detected face section. At the bottom, you will have some options to re-age your face and enhance it. For this video, I will leave the settings as default. Now, I'll click High Quality Face Swap and let Akul AI do the heavy lifting for me. Akul is now performing the swapping. If you're a paid subscriber, you will have priority to use higher quality face swapping, and your videos will render a lot faster. But honestly, the free version is quite fast, so there is no need for me to pay for extra compute power. To monitor the processing of the final video, I will click on my library. While this is processing, you can see to the top right that this swap has utilized 10 credits, which means that we can go ahead and generate nine more of these face swap reels. But please keep in mind that using the re-age and enhance face swapping configuration will use more than just 10 credits at a time. The total processing time for this reel was roughly one minute. Let's play the final result. As you can see, it looks really good because you can barely tell that this is not the person's original face. For maximum effort, let's compare the original reel to our generated reel, as well as bring in our source image so you can see what they look like next to each other. If you're happy with the result like I am, you can simply click on download. This reel will download with the watermark since it's the free version. You'll need to sign up for a paid subscription to have it removed, or you can use other free AI tools to remove the watermark. Once you're entirely happy with your final video, you can then upload your reel to Instagram using captions with strong hooks, the correct hashtags, trending audio and posting at the right time in order to start growing your following immediately. If you're not sure how to do this and want the ultimate Instagram guide on how to start an account from scratch to earn money within the next 30 days, then watch this next video now.